Mastering Confirmation Questions in Conversational English Welcome to our English Language Learning Video Series. In this episode, we will delve into the fascinating world of confirmation questions. Asking and answering questions is an essential part of any conversation, and mastering the different types of questions will greatly enhance your communication skills. So, let's get started. Confirmation questions are a type of question used to seek clarification or to confirm information. They are typically used when you want to ensure that you have understood something correctly or when you need to verify facts. Confirmation questions are particularly useful in avoiding misunderstandings and building effective communication. Here are some common examples of confirmation questions. 1. Just to clarify, you said you will meet me at 3 p.m., right? 2. Are you sure the meeting is tomorrow? 3. So, you're saying the restaurant opens at 7 p.m.? Forming confirmation questions is relatively straightforward. Generally, you can transform a statement into a confirmation question by using the appropriate question word or auxiliary verb. The structure of confirmation questions can vary based on the type of question word or auxiliary verb used. Let's explore some different ways to form confirmation questions. 1. Using question words. 2. Who, what, where, when, why, how. Simply add the question word at the beginning of the statement to turn it into a confirmation question. For example, you finished the report, becomes, when did you finish the report? 3. Using auxiliary verbs. 4. Is, are, am, do, does, did, can, could, will, would, should. Insert the appropriate auxiliary verb at the beginning of the statement to form a confirmation question. For instance, she called the client, becomes, did she call the client? Remember that intonation and word order also play a significant role in forming confirmation questions. Rising intonation at the end of the question helps indicate that you are seeking confirmation, while falling intonation is used for simple yes, no questions. Confirmation questions can be used in various situations to ensure understanding and seek agreement. Let's explore some common scenarios where confirmation questions are commonly employed. 1. Clarifying information. When you want to make sure you've understood something correctly, use confirmation questions to seek clarification. For example, I heard you're leaving next week. Is that correct? 2. Verifying details. Use confirmation questions to verify specific details or facts. For instance, the meeting is scheduled for 2 p.m., right? 3. Double-checking intentions. When you want to confirm someone's intentions or plans, ask a confirmation question. For example, so, you're coming to the party on Friday, right? 4. Avoiding misunderstandings. Use confirmation questions to prevent misunderstandings and ensure everyone is on the same page. For instance, just to be clear, you want me to send the email today, correct? Remember, active listening is crucial when using confirmation questions. Pay attention to the speaker's words and tone to formulate appropriate confirmation questions. Congratulations on reaching the end of this video. You've gained valuable insights into the world of confirmation questions. By using confirmation questions effectively, you can improve your communication skills and ensure clarity in conversations. Practice forming and using confirmation questions in different contexts to become a more confident English speaker. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting English language learning content. Thank you.